Are you someone who's struggling with your core strength? Let's understand what are these core muscles. The core muscles are the muscles which are in your belly. Abdominal muscles, we have rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis and two obliques, external internal obliques. And then we obliques are the side muscles, right? And then we have the muscles in the back, which are your erector spinae muscles, which supports the spine and multifidus. All these muscles together form the core of your body. So core doesn't mean just your abs. Core means the entire mid region of the body. And how can I strengthen these muscles? If I can do sit ups or if I do crunches, is it enough? Yes, definitely it works. But when you do it mindfully, focusing on all these areas together, if you train them like that, it is much more effective. In yoga practices, there are various asanas which helps to work on the strength in a holistic way. And that is what we're going to do in this practice. My name is Josh Ramakrishnan. This is Yoga Series with Joe. Let's begin our practice today. Please come into any comfortable cross-legged position. Let's first try and understand what are the muscles that we are working on. We are working on our abdominals, which is four different muscles and also the sides, the oblique muscle and the back muscle, that are electrospinae spinae and multifidus muscle. And we are going to work on a little bit of the pelvic floor and the diaphragm. So let's first start with deep breathing. Throughout this practice, I want you to understand the different breathing technique that we're going to incorporate. We're going to use only chest breathing. We're not going to use the belly breathing. So what is chest breathing? You're going to take your right hand, place on your chest and inhale. Lift your chest and push the hand away. Exhale. Keep the belly in. Drawing your belly in as much as you can and drop the chest down. When you inhale, don't let the belly to go out. Rather, use your breath in your chest. Exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, now if you feel this is difficult for you, pause this video and try to do this 5 to 10 times before you attempt the next asana practice. Now let's begin with simple warm up movements, come on all fours again, this is one of the favorite warm up for me all the time. So it already warms up your wrist, your shoulders, your spine, your knees and also helps you to keep the practice gentle. Inhale, lift your head and chest up. Exhale, draw the belly in and see if you can use the chest breathing that we just learned. Inhale, keep the belly in. Breathe only into your chest. Exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale, see if you can use the chest more, even if your belly moves a bit, it's fine. Exhale, draw the belly. Now from here, you're going to keep your right leg straight out. You can use either a block or a bolster if you want to support your heels. You're going to keep your right leg straight out and focus on drawing the belly as much as you can in. So you're going to try and suck your belly in. And keep the right knee straight. You're going to stay for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. If this is comfortable, you're going to lift your left hand forward and stay there. 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Slowly drop. Drop your right knee back. Inhale. Take your left leg straight out. Draw the belly in gently, push the floor away with your arms, stay there, four, three, two and one, inhale, take your right hand forward, drawing the belly in more, four, three, two and one, slowly drop your right hand down, we'll try this with plank position, see if you can keep both your legs straight with your knees straight, leaning a little bit forward, don't sink with your hips. Draw your belly in. Push the floor away. Four. Keep breathing. Don't hold the breath. If this is comfortable, see if you can lift your right leg up without lifting your hips up. Draw the belly in. Right leg pointed. Stay. Three. Two. 
and one. Drop your right leg, left leg. One. And drop. Now push into child's pose, but don't drop your knees down. So try and push your hips back as much as you can. Knees should not touch the floor. And then inhale, you come into a high plank. Exhale again. Draw the belly in, push back, but don't drop your knees down to the floor. Inhale, high plank. One more time. Exhale. Inhale to high plank. Stay here. Three more breaths. Two. And drop your knees down. Come into a nice child's pose. When you're doing core strengthening practices, you feel like giving up in the middle. So what I would suggest is if you feel like it's too intense for you, pause the video, take a couple of breaths, start again. But do not give in halfway. Try to fully practice the video so that you feel your core really working. Now we're going to try and strengthen the back muscle so that it will compensate the work we do in the front part of the body. So come all the way down. Forehead on the mat. Toes together. Hug your elbows in. Feet together, thighs together. Now as you inhale, lift your head and chest up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Stay. Exhale and down. Now we're going to try to take your leg up. So inhale, bring your right leg up. Exhale and down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale and down. Now we're going to lift both the legs up and see where we are. So try and place your forehead comfortably on the mat. Inhale, lift both your legs up, feet together. Exhale down. Now slowly push back into a nice upward facing dog. If this is difficult for you, you can keep your elbow slightly bent and stay in Bhujangasana. If this is easy, push your body forward. Try to lift your chest up. Stay here. Breathe. Exhale into downward facing dog. Now slowly, you're going to sit and lie down on the mat. So this is your asanas for your core and your lower back. Now we're going to work with the deep muscles, which is your pelvic floor muscle and transverse abdominis and also the diaphragm. So this is called Tadaga Mudra and this is not recommended when you are pregnant for women and if you have periods. Other times you can practice this. This is a very... Um, Intense practice, so I would take time. I would ask you to take time, understand it, and then do the practice. You lie down on the mat, try and find a nice flat surface. You're going to try to empty the belly and suck it in as you exhale. So, you're going to have a full vacuum in your belly. And the lower back will go touch the floor. Start with the knees bent. Keep your heel closer towards your body. Hands on the floor. Chin down. Now slowly draw the belly in. Hold the breath out. 
inhale release so you have to only draw the belly in when you are exhaling so exhale draw the belly in hold the breath out keep the belly in inhale release the belly let's go again second time draw inhale exhale draw the belly in hold the breath out inhale release the belly fourth time exhale draw the belly in inhale release last time exhale draw the belly in inhale release take few deep breaths you can do belly breathing now you can shift from chest breathing to belly breathing relax any tension that you have developed in your belly now slowly we're going to lift ourselves up into a nice seated position from here we're going to try to turn towards your right side and twist as much as you can i'm using my hands behind my head just to get not to round my back so trying to keep my chest open twist now from here If you can open your arms to the sides, we'll stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back. If you feel like your knee is falling apart, use a block to really squeeze the block in so that you don't turn or you don't let the knees to fall apart. Now you're going to turn to your left side. Use your hands to really twist. and then open your arms to the sides we'll do this last time inhale lift up exhale to the sides 2 3 4 and 5 inhale back to center exhale to your left side One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come back. Exhale, release. Now you're gonna hug your knees to your chest, really tight, and really rest here. Now slowly lift your head up and relax. that is our practice for core strengthening asana i hope you enjoy and again please understand how much your body can do and attempt only what is comfortable for you because it is in the video format it can be really difficult and challenging if you do not understand the form so you can also once go through it fully by just sliding it and then practice together i hope you have fun with me i'll see you in the next video thank you